Guys, did you see me just drop my whole camera careful. setting? Um, there's a setting on here I gotta fix. Let's see here on my tripod. Tripod's great unless you don't use it right. All right. Always happens. So uh, that's okay. So we're walking uh, south now actually... on Fourth Avenue where we came in. Yes. Um, now we're on Cooch and it's actually at Burnside, the next street. Yep. Now before this, this uh, he tried the owner uh, Michael Wright tried to do some food carts, and he it's so sad because it would have been a great place for food carts, and they they told him it had to be gravel, so he tried to do gravel, and then after that they came up with some other reason. There was so a, uh, there's we are a, actually on an archaeological site. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. So there's no digging. Oh okay, that's a good piece no of information. Construction that may be part of it. I don't know. But you know, I mean, you talk. How do we how do we trust that we're gonna actually be able to have you know after you fix the doors? Here's here's the thing. They told they told him he could fix one thing. He fixes it, and then then they still say no sure. after that expense. And and before that, it was a porn shop. So if yeah. you guys think that a porn shop is a better use of this space, and you know, go ahead. More power to you. I guess. God. But I mean, you know, that, Here we have but this. that generates revenue. So uh, so where we're at right now. This oh, is wow. right to dream too. This looks really great. This is uh, different. What we have over here, there are couples on I'm one making side. sure not to get anybody on camera. We'd have uh, to ask them. Under this larger structure are singles, single men. We're couples. on Vigil TV from down uh, City Hall. Um, and, <laughs> uh, single women. Okay. That we house. Um, Beautiful. It's a good thing. Do so I don't know if best. you guys can see this, but uh, so we got recycling here and uh, uh, restrooms. Is, yeah, we actually pay for social all area. The, is that the smoking area? This is our smoking area right here. Nice. Uh, we have that open from nine to ten for the clients. We have a restroom available. Uh, this you know, is gorgeous. Porta -potty. Okay, so we let's go the see the famous doors. So, the I, the reason that the city would shut down a place that is uh, saving you know, people 50 a night. The height. It's the height of these doors. This is too high. You cannot have anything like this, this height. It's over eight feet, um, above from, starting from the ground itself, up apparently. And it's something that we deal with, even though there are doors that are not eight feet. But uh, what, as I told you before, this is actual funding for us, non here just a second. I'm trying to avoid people for camera. Sure. Um, really try to respect that, you know. Uh, over at uh, over at um, Occupy stuff, people know when they see a camera, they understand live stream. They understand. Sure. I mean, that's kind of part of our culture. You know? I mean, that's sort of the way. It so goes. Uh, now this pre this premises is for sale. Uh, RTD2 will yes. only be here uh, as long as he can't sell the property. Apparently, we have a yearly lease. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so no, I don't that's know great. how that actually works out as far as our lease. Uh, Local 483. But uh, we did we do have union support. So that's they came great. Out, we did a uh, painted door day. House keys not handcuffs. Who's yeah, that? Absolutely. Who's that? That is actually something we believe in, yeah. Is that a non profit? That is. As far as I know. You know, this we is beautiful. Are. This is more Portland than a lot of stuff that's been, you know, things are torn down all the time and what's put in there, ritzy stuff and, you know, we, we get yeah, all the affordable housing torn down. But this is Portland. Yeah. This is Portland's exactly. supposed to be funky. We're supposed to keep Portland weird. Uh, this is a very weird <gasps> door by a weird local artist. He came out and did that himself. Right on. I wish we could see better. We've got the uh, Portland stagehands. Yeah, you stay champs. Um, you know, who believe in a vision. Absolutely. So part of our job is actually, while we're on security, is to make sure that the doors, these advertisements, are not bothered by the local populace that's out here. The ones that don't get the idea that homeless is uh, something to be considered. It's uh, something to be ridiculed and um, stereotyped. Yeah, you, if you guys haven't watched it, go through the archives and and watch the interviews, the ones that say interview. 
sometimes I fall behind in renaming them. Like when I drop my phone, they won't be named properly, and I'll, I'll get to that eventually. This is beautiful. Wonderful and I'm, work, it really is. Um, I think we should have some Portland pride in this. I would like to think that we're getting more. We have Jobs with Justice. They came out. Oh, beautiful. Where are they? Where are they? On the pool. Oh, J JWJ. JWJ. Yeah. Uh, we have one of the, uh, I do believe it, one of the high schools came out and their kids made this door for us. Poverty is not an accident. Like slavery and apartheid, it is man-made and can be removed by the actions of human beings. Nelson Mendoza. Uh, yeah. MSW, I believe that that is a degree uh, program. MSW. Uh, it's a wonderful little thing. 2012 class. That's that's sure. that's great. No, it's, it's or nice. maybe not not class, but uh, it, it was this year. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Unfortunately, this door was actually tagged. Uh, you know, we do our best. We really do to make sure. That we... Was the tag the heart? Um, yeah, it was tagged by the hearts. Wow, isn't that great? Um, even your graffiti. In a way, yeah. Our graffiti even your graffiti or just, you know, else. your inconsiderate acts are sure. out of some kind I mean, of love. In a way, in a way, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, but yeah, I can see why you wouldn't. For the most part, Emma Goldman. When we can't dream any longer, we die. Oh, yeah, that's from Marie? Nice. Beautiful. So take a look at where we are, right by Dante's. Yep. So if you're looking at Dante's, the face of Dante's with that yellow, uh, just look right across the street. You know, this is so cool. So um, you have a postcard. Do you, do you, I know we haven't met the vigil. Do you have any right now? I have them. We have some Okay. I want to I want to show the folks this because you actually say what people can do right uh, yeah, on that we do postcard. Have something a flyer that. So let's do that. You can support us. I think the viewers would like to know what can we do because I think there's a lot of people looking at this going what how could they how could they try to shut this down by pressuring fines pressuring fines on on something trivial we're sa you know they're saving lives like I said watch the interviews if you want to see what kind of a life-threatening condition and how grateful they are just to come to a sidewalk. So, okay, I have a lot of these. This has a very brief history. Okay, let what me read this. What we are, this. who we are. Okay, this is what you what we can do. And then what's this? These are small. Tell the city people. officials stop finding right to dream two. Um. So. Uh, so you began October tenth. Yes. Two thousand. When when did they start finding? Actually, that day. That day. Okay. Contact your city officials. We want all of them to know that you support Right to Dream 2. They have the power to instruct BDS, yeah. Bureau, Bureau Development Devel Services, Depa I think. Yeah. Okay. Development Services. Development Services to stop finding R2D2. Dan Saltzman is in charge of the Bureau of Development Services, the agency that has, of April 1st, fined Right to Dream close to $3,000. So by June 1st, fines will be 2,564 2, per month. Yes. So um, the grand total, do you know what the grand total is so far that uh, they're holding they over? I actually cannot tell you for certain what the grand total okay, is. Okay, so it started point. at 640. Yes. And you said that that was back in October. Yes. And then uh, if it doubled every other month, which is what it used to do, yeah. um, 640 plus 1,200. Plus in February that would be 2,400. Mm -hmm. In uh, April it would be um, it would be 4,800. So that yeah. that that would be the end of April. Yeah. And and that is in addition. That's cumulative. Uh, this is something that builds. Yeah. Unless you actually make. Payments so is on it, it is it building by that much, or is that what you're, we're up to, or is it adding 2,400 plus? 4,800. Once again, I cannot actually. Oh, okay. Per okay. Se well, anyway, that, it's a we are heck of a lot of money right now. It's a heck of a lot um, of money uh, for having been on this property. Doing and I, I heard doing. that you guys uh, that uh, money was being collected, set aside, um, but that you've refused to pay that fine. 
cannot speak for that. That is Michael Wright that probably has to speak. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, because yeah, it's his fine. But absolutely. But anyway, um, you know that that's what has to happen is you have to say sure. no. That's an unjust, you absolutely. know. Absolutely, it's an unjust fine. Right. Uh, this is not a recreational right? campground. No, this is not. Another thing I want to point out is that um, smoking is a luxury. I mean, of course, people get addicted to it, but luxuries have to be included in life. Because if you're right. if your life is all about survival and nothing else, which is what a lot of people, you know, let them eat cake kind of mentality. Oh, they should be 24/7. They should look for a job. 24/7. They should take whatever you know. It, it's bull. Society can dictate <laughs> you have to whatever have, it wants to. You have to have some luxury. Yeah, absolutely. A little, I mean, and, a little humanity. And you know what? That encompasses all kinds of things. Right. It does, from smoking to you know being able to sit down. Yeah. And read a book. Yeah, right. yeah absolutely. Anyway, uh, so there are people sleeping outside. Does that mean you're full? Uh, it is. Yeah. It does mean that. Uh, we actually watch over the folks that are across the street. And Which I is why they're here. I need to sign in for this uh, real briefly, real quick. I need to sign up for my Would it, would it be all right now. if... Uh, now, I have to go back. Sure. Um, do you want to be here or do you want to come back with me? Oh, I'm, I'm going to go back at after 2. After, After I got done with so, my security. Well, okay. Well, let's say goodbye then. Okay. Let's put you on camera and, and say goodbye. Thank you, Mark. It was very nice. Thank you very much. Um, I hope that everybody got a small glimpse. And if you want to make, if you want to make a donation to Right to Dream Two, um, follow the directions on the flyer. There's flyers over at our vigil in City Hall. There's flyers here at Fourth and Burnside at Right to Dream Two. Um, checks can be made out to right to dream to r-i-g-h-t-t-o-d-r-e-a-m-t-o-o and i'm going to give the address so if you can't read it because of the resolution so uh i'll give you a second to get your pens of course you can always look on my site here and, and get it then um four six three five northeast garfield avenue nine seven two one one in portland all right okay see you back at the thank you so much back at the fort okay you guys i'm gonna go offline for a little bit and give my battery a, a chance uh, to charge up in my car here so uh that was exciting what an awesome dude see you see you later